this happens all the time. The jade giant pops up furious as ever and beats the living paste out of whoever stands in his way. There ain't no stopping the Hulk. Some situations have arisen in the past where he might be slowed down for a while or incapacitated briefly or kept within Bruce Banner, but wow oh wow, do you have to work so hard to beat the Hulk. Which is why so many folks have lost to him over the years, and not just villains either, we're talking heroes too. When a superhero is mostly a creature of unstoppable anger and superheroes are making all sorts of shady deals and backroom agreements, you're gonna see some fights. So let's count down the top 10 superheroes who lost to the Hulk. Coming in number 10, we've got Wolverine. Say it isn't so, the Hulk and Wolverine never would fight. They're both so friendly and easy to get along with. Uh, I almost had you for a second, didn't I? Now, these two are almost contractually obliged to duke it out from time to time now, aren't they? Going way back to the era before Wolverine was even an official X-Men, this duo would fight over just about anything, and it really could go either way. Like, Wolverine has beaten the Hulk before, albeit in the grim dark universe of Old Man Logan, but in most cases, James Howlett loses out to the Hulk. Sure, he's technically invincible and will always bounce back in one way or another, well, most of the time. There's no dealing with brute force that the Hulk has to offer. Way back before Wolverine was even introduced in X-Men, the two fought with the Hulk refusing to back down. Then there's the time that the Hulk returned from space, looking to exact some revenge on those who would send him out there. Wolverine definitely had his butt kicked this time in particular. And who could forget the legendary rip and tear fest that was Hulk versus Wolverine atop a mountain in Tibet. God, Hulk really let him have it that time, didn't he? Limbs were removed and tossed at different mountaintops, and legs were threatened to be eaten. Not a good look for our pal Wolverine now, is it? But what can you do? Beating the Hulk isn't something most folks even have a chance at. Coming at number 9, we've got Spider-Man. A cursory Google search will reward you with a plethora of insane clickbait homebrew animations, pitting Spider-Man against the Hulk in the lowest resolution possible. Ah, the internet. Is there no end to your ridiculous cash grabs? Remember the era of Spider-Man Elsa videos? What a time to be alive. However, the bouts between Spider-Man and Hulk don't end at cheesy animations and gaming channels. There are indeed a few fights between the two in official Marvel stories. Cool, popular, and versatile as Spider-Man is, there really isn't a way for him to beat the brute in head-to-head -head combat. He's got super strength and spidey senses, but that's not enough to take out a towering monster of flesh and gamma radiation. He's used his smarts to great effect in the past, putting other heroes, technology, and strategies to use and defeating overpowered opponents. There are instances of Spider-Man outmaneuvering Hulk, too. And there was also the time that he had some godly cosmic powers, but that's not exactly fair, is it? However, in the end, our green pal will likely come out on top of any fight between these two. Most times, Spidey would be best just to hide out until the Hulk leads. If he's less lucky, he'll get walloped and pass out, which has happened a couple times. The Hulk is pretty strong. Coming at number 8, we've got Iron Man. Wait, aren't these guys both founding Avengers? Why would they ever have to fight? Well, if that's the thing, there's always a reason or two. They've got big, science-centered brains and plenty of power for sure. However, Tony Stark tends to get on people's nerves and also makes a bunch of decisions without consulting others. The Hulk does not take well to this, not one bit. So of course, the guy with the craziest technology is going to have to take on the sheer physical might of a creature that thrives on anger. It's just gotta happen. And fight they do, but here's the thing. It's not often that Iron Man scores a decisive victory or even a victory at all. No matter how powerful and advanced he makes his weaponry, no matter how far ahead he plans to fight the Hulk, he comes with some inherent limits. His tech will eventually run out of juice, get damaged, or reach a predetermined limit. You can't really make stuff push too far past the limits of the materials it's made of. Hulk, on the other hand, will always be getting angrier and therefore stronger. He's like a perpetual motion machine of rage and fury. So even with the Hulkbuster suits, darts to sap strength, and a bevy of other interesting anti-Hulk technology, eventually this will all run out, leaving the Hulk to do what he will. It's happened time and time again, muscle beats machinery in this case. There's that time that Stark sent Hulk off into the universe, I guess, but that resulted in World War Hulk, which wasn't very fun for anyone on planet Earth. Whoops. Coming in at number 7, She-Hulk. Speaking of World War Hulk, funny how that works, right? One would think that Hulk loves his cousin too much to fight her. They have a long, strong history together, essentially treating each other as siblings, and don't often get mad with each other anyways, despite the anger inherent in their powers. Help! Bruce Banner is the reason that She-Hulk is the way she is. After an emergency blood transfusion, Jennifer Walters is endowed with a less intense version of Bruce Banner's condition, like a watered-down Hulk. Still plenty powerful, and possibly the strongest woman in Marvel, but she's not quite a match for Bruce's monster. However, like I was saying before, why would they ever fight? They're family. Well, World War Hulk changed the way the Hulk saw the world. 
Totally fueled by anger and revenge, he came back to Earth a changed being. And coming across his cousin, he felt no remorse in slamming her so hard into the ground that the Earth around her was turned into a crater. Holy smokes, Hulk, no mercy, eh? Coming in at number 6, we've got Loki. I feel like this moment cemented the Avengers as the premier attraction in Marvel's budding cinematic universe. Back before we had any confirmation of Infinity Stones or Gauntlets, we had the Tesseract. Loki, god of mischief and brother to the mighty Thor, used this object to cause all sorts of mayhem. This wasn't his only trick, but it worked particularly well. Being a god, Loki was pretty cocky though. What could Earth's heroes do to stop me, he thought. Well, the Hulk had something to say about that. He tossed the so-called puny god around like a child with a doll having a temper tantrum. He got some chuckles, inspired some memes, the works. However, this little fight had been hotly contested. Loki, again, a literal god, likely wouldn't have been hurt by this interaction at all. Like, would the Hulk have even had an effect on him? Stranger things have happened, for sure. This moment might have just been played for laughs to ensure an audience hit, but hey, Hulk did indeed beat the snot out of Loki in this particular particular instance. Coming in number 5, we've got The Thing. Ah, strong arm versus strong arm. A classic trope, a legendary fight. Other than Wolverine, I'd say The Thing is one of the Hulk's most lasting hero opponents. Both considered immortal, unbeatable, impossible to damage, this is a heavyweight bout like no other. However, the Hulk definitely takes precedence when he's in revenge mode. So when he wanted to go and find and fight the Avengers, the Fantastic Four stepped in. Benjamin Grimm wanted a piece of the gamma saturated super, so the two decided to throw down on their own. After an exchange, of massive blows, eventually the thing did drop. That's gotta hurt fighting the Hulk, but at least he can take a hit. Coming in at number 4, the Avengers. Yes, all of them. That's the thing, this seems to happen quite often. Nobody really knows how to deal with the Hulk, and this is an issue that rears its ugly head quite often. Even though he is often part of the group himself, if things go a little sideways, it's not unlike the Hulk to decide to go solo after working out some frustration. And by working out frustration, I do mean slapping his former comrades around. He can do that no problem, too. The Hulk is strong, strong. Why else would Tony Stark constantly be dreaming up contingency plans related to the bulky boy? But yeah, the Avengers don't often beat Hulk if they have to take him on. Usually it's making him turn back into Bruce Banner or getting him as far away from the fight as possible. And when that doesn't work, the Hulk beats folks down and leaves. Simple as that. Coming in at number 3, we've got Doctor Strange. You would think that the Sorcerer Supreme would be able to deal with a meathead no problem. A spell or two and the problem's done with. However, again, during World War Hulk, the rage proved to be a little too much. Holy moly Hulk, calm down why don't ya? Strange often sends Hulk to different dimensions or far far away if it looks like things are getting too rough. In this fight, he decides to channel a universe destroying demon to give him that upper hand. It seems to be working at first, but as is the case with many fights involving last ditch efforts against the Hulk, the new powers can only last so long. When Strange starts to lose control of this demonic power, the Hulk is just getting angrier. And when Hulk gets mad, he gets strong. With this in mind, I'm sure you can guess what happens next. Doctor Strange, unconscious. Coming in number 2, we've got the Silver Surfer. No, not Silver Surfer, Herald of Galactus, wielder of powers beyond mortal understanding. But it's true, Hulk did indeed take out this incredible hero. Although it was under some very unique circumstances. Some very zombie circumstances, in fact. Showing up just in time to see the world totally gripped by the zombie apocalypse, he does his best to help out. The number of heroes attempting to eat him proves to be too much, though, and he's overwhelmed before the Hulk arrives. Using his massive size and strength to push through the crowd, Hulk consumes Silver Surfer, gaining a bit of his power cosmic along the way. Yikes. And finally at number 1 we've got Sentry. Sentry should be Earth's strongest warrior. After being imbued with the powers of a super soldier serum hundreds of thousands of times stronger than the original, he became incredibly powerful. Almost too powerful if you ask me. Thing is, this kind of strength is only barely enough to handle the Hulk. When the Hulk and his warbound came to Earth, Sentry was there to fight him. However, they essentially fought each other to a standstill, with each reverting back to their human form. But even after all that, Bruce Banner gets the last hit in. Classic. Fighting till the very end. Sheesh. Who would have guessed that Hulk had the capacity to end all sorts of other superheroes? You gotta wonder how all these uber people feel when faced with a being so clearly stronger than themselves. So what'd you think of the list? Do you agree with my picks? Which superhero Hulk fight is your favorite? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.